in the beginning. Mm. <laughs> it was us. But then as time passed, we added Sue, who was just a box. And then we lost Jack. But then Sue is now a walking and talking box. Leave it at that. No, no jokes. No jokes. Nope. We're, nope. But now we have we have a new guy. We, we new do. Guy. Well, n- not yet. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. But he should at least introduce himself to the audience. Not right? yet. Like as the. Well, I mean, the player like, can. Yeah, that's but... what I meant. The player. Oh, <laughs> I fucked up. You forgot to take oh us off mute. Now I, have... I forgot to take us off mute. Oh my gosh! Now I got to start all over. <laughs> <laughs> Professional streamer. Only on only on the second Tuesday of every week. <laughs> Too bad it's the first. I'm I'm assuming that uh, that is better, Jack. <laughs> Glad someone was here to catch that. Yeah. Yeah. So in the beginning, in the there beginning, was, uh, there was in the beginning there was fi- there was four. Five. In the beginning, there was four. And then we added Snake. And then we picked up Sue, who was just a box AI. And then we lost Jack, but then we got Sue a body, so now she's walking and talking. And now we picked up a new player um, who is going to be this new guy that you see down here smiling. Why do we all have beards? Because it's the way to go. This is the beard. We're real men. <laughs> <laughs> Bearded bandits. Thank, Thank you for the host, Helsing. Appreciate that. All right. So, <laughs> working on it. Got to get better. I got. I, I do it pretty good, but you know, depends. If I don't have a little bit of sound to go with it, it, it can end up being all kinds of. Stuff. It's harder with uh, the mustache and the beard getting in the way, right? It's true. Yeah. Oh, when people talk like this? It's like a ghillie suit for their face. (laughs) All right. So for those of you that missed uh, the last session, Valley has taken the group to uh, a distant planet. And he and Tabor stepped off and ended up having a meeting with uh, someone from um, Cartwright. Well, yeah, I was debating on whether or not to actually say the company name because I couldn't remember if you had mentioned it outside of going to the meeting at which oh, point well, to we work. We, we were going there to speak to Cartwright Industries about buying a ship because I did mention it because I told them because we got to buy a ship and we got to sell this stuff to them. So, right. I, okay. Plus, we mentioned the letterhead is sent and everything else, so I did. Sorry, I thought you were just... No, 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 that's, that, that's good, that's good. So, yeah, uh, Valley and Tabor uh, went off to their meeting with Cartwright Industries, and um, meanwhile, Brian was on the ship. Um, I, I, I think I had you doing some inventory stuff with the med bay. Hmm. Okay. Um, For some reason, we're short on morphine. What I, what I find in the back corners of the med bay that no one knew was there? <laughs> I mean, it was all inventory. So. Other than a bunch of from under? <laughs> For some reason, we're short on morphine. Yeah, you... Uh, you, you <laughs> actually, give me, a, uh, give me a notice roll. Oh, good God. Okay. Uh, I gotta get to my character again. <laughs> uh, center button up at the top of the little thing. You click the journal. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And notice. No modifier. Wisdom based. Or you yeah. Want... Okay. Well, that'd be cool. No modifiers? Um, you know what? I'll give you a plus one because you've uh, been in the med bay for a while. Wow. Okay. All right. 
Um, you find two uh, injectors of squeal. What? Yeah. Okay. Just now I got to find out what squeal is. This quote unquote truth serum oh is unreliable, but still one of the best available options for field <laughs> interrogations. Oh, hell no. Yeah. Oh, sweet Jesus. Thank you, God. Still not as good as Oreos. Um, it is also a drug that can be used to <laughs> apply um, uh, healing stem, basically. So, okay. Uh, it is on page 73 if you wanted to look it up. Okay, and it's basically two doses? Yep. Page which again? 73 of the book. Thank you. Making notes so I don't have to go. Uh, where was that? All right. So it was worthwhile staying back. That's that's a that's a quiet. I'm going to keep that to myself. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I'm sure that there's been something going on. Maybe I should leave this place. So, um, but we are all back in this ship now. So. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, right. Not back yet. No. Okay. So, uh, I'll make sure to stash my horn and I'll go see what's going on at the bridge. Okay. Uh, the pilot is up there. He's uh, overseeing refueling and um, basically the, the basic restocking. Um, doing the uh, basic maintenance. Um, Snake I I is... Oh, God. Yes, go ahead. Uh, Snake is in the lounge uh, reviewing some history texts that he is planning on having Sue review. Okay. Makes good mm. sense. Oh, by the way, they did each receive 5000 so Brian and Snake, before we stepped off the ship, remember? Oh, the credits? Yeah. Oh. I, wanted, I, wanted, I forgot to remind you. Because Tavar already added his when we were there for the sale of the chromium. Right. So your bank account has grown. Okay. 5,000 credits. Woo. Which, depending on where we are, gets me a lot or nothing. Uh, fair. Eh, I'm just <laughs> saying. <Yeah>. Um, <coughs> okay. So we've got people milling about doing stuff at the ship. Yeah. Okay. Um, this access ramp, I'm assuming. Yeah. I'm just going to sit there and stare at people. <laughs> Intimidatingly or curiously? Uh, By curiously? No. Creepy uncle like? Yes, creepy uncle like. Okay. That's a that's a good description. I like that. You be biting your lip when you do it, like. No, not that kind of creepy uncle. That's that's just creepy. Why would you? Say? <laughs> That's a little too creepy. Like, like Devil's Rejects, creepy uncle. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm gonna wear your face tomorrow. Yeah, hey, you doing? Right. <laughs> um, go ahead and give me another notice roll. I'm rolling it up now. Okay. No mods. No, not for this. Okay. Oh okay. yeah. So I don't notice shit. <laughs> you, you you are staring creepily at the people that are doing the maintenance on the ship. Well done. Right. Right. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I do. <laughs> um, Darius, you have just received word. Um. Basically, through um, reading the local, I don't want to say newspaper, but the um, company newsletter? Not, no, not, not the company newsletter. Um, 
the news bulletin that is broadcast that recently, within about the last week, there was a massive explosion on your home planet of Thorun. Now, luckily, it was not in your hometown, but... <laughs> um, it's your fault. <laughs> uh, one of the major um, manufacturers on the planet, the um, anti-grav vehicle company, has... Uh, um, It is currently undergoing massive reconstruction from um, an explosion that rocked the manufacturing plant. <coughs> so, I want to see if I can... Um, perhaps delve up so, some extra information to see if that explosion and that manufacturing plant has caused any harm to a certain corporation that uh, I may not um, like I may not like as much whether it be going into the proverbial deep web type things or, or stuff like that. Um, who are you trying to find out if it is affecting? The, the company that uh, put me in my current predicament. I don't remember who that is supposed to have been. I don't think we said specifically Okay. Um, I believe it was more along the lines of a large company on that planet. Okay. Um, roll me your percentile. Hey, Tazara, uh, good to see you again. Just D100 then? Yeah. Live chicken sitting right here in the bowl, and that's why I mean, she's just a witch, and so is mine. So damn I, because they both said that we just hmm. Um, it's hereditary. I just hope boys are immune. Sure, I, I don't see why it couldn't be the same corporation. Um, yeah, so. The, the the news broadcast is going to tell you who the actual uh, corporation is. Um, I don't remember what the name of it was. Dave, do you remember? Corporation of what? That blew up. Oh, Shaija. Um, <laughs> I do not know. I, I do not remember the name of it. Uh, yeah, it's the same. It's it's the same organization. Sure. I'll I'll tell you who it is later. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he he got messed up. Was it the Semar Semartino Band Factory? That sounds right. Yeah, we'll we'll go with that. They do grab vehicles and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Summer Tino band. All right. Um. And and the explosion did affect affect them. Oh, the the, the manufacturing plant is actually. Mm, go ahead and. Go ahead and give me an investigation role of some kind. Um, 
I don't remember what. <laughs> Trying to pull up a character sheet. Um, I guess it'd be a no roll, but it's going to be at a negative one. And where is that? Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm already at a negative one. Good, good. What, are you saying I apply another negative? Yes. Okay. The more negatives, the better, really. Um, Which attribute is it? Intelligence? Intelligence, yeah. Okay. Um, so you try and search through some dark web uh, stuff to get more information, uh, but pretty much all you can find out is the, uh, the, the guy in charge of San Martino is reporting that um, the factory is going to be offline for probably a month or two while they rebuild. Um, and they are currently um, they are currently investigating persons of interest in the um, investigation. Oh, I gotta type that email for you <laughs> at some point. Uh, yeah. So I, know, I, can also I based on that, I would just like to maybe hack in and disrupt their investigations if there's any digital way to do that. I'm going to say with that role, you're not going to be able to find okay. where you can access that kind of stuff. Gotcha. Well, maybe I'll put it on my checklist for things to check into later. Um... There's Where are upset. you right now? Um, well, right now he'd probably be working on some piece of machinery, but having certain alerts go off, especially with his home planet, probably uh, would you know check out for a break. And okay. He'd, he'd be looking into that for this uh, checking out on the break. So I see more of your uh, basically working on uh, um, a data pad as opposed to like a workstation. Yeah, at, okay. at the moment. Okay. Um, because of your background, I'm not going to make you roll a notice on this. As you are walking out, something catches your attention. You see what initially looks like three people. The, the, the two men in the group are dressed just garishly, outlandishly. It's, it's definitely high class clothing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it is totally out of style for this planet. <clears throat> but with them is a young woman who at first glance seems like a very inquisitive young woman looking around interestingly at everything but the motions is what catches your attention 
it's stiffer than what a normal human would be um, moving. Less fluid. Yes. So, being that uh, I'm pretty interested in, in the tech side of things and computers and especially VI and AI, um, I'm going to I'm going to give this a shot and reach out telepathically. Okay. To do you have a range on that? Four hundred meters. I'm. I don't see a range. I'm guessing it's the standard telepathy one because it's just applying telepathy. Okay. What do you have to do for that? Um, it, it looks like if so, it, whatever force is applied, um, it takes it from me. So, I guess if it requires a system strain, it would, I would commit an effort to it. Okay. Um, okay. So you are reaching out telepathically to uh, the young woman that is walking stiffly. Okay. What is your, are, are you sending a message? Are you trying to? Uh, uh, I'm going to, if possible, try to, well, I would like to see if there's anything specific that they're looking for, whether I can glean it or if I can't glean anything, I'll just um, pose, you know, pose a question, basically. But what are you searching for? And she'll just hear that. <laughs> okay. You, you get back a string of Zero one one zero one. No, no, I'm 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 not going to be that dick. Um, you you get back a string of essentially disconnected information about history, and um, the a repeated phrase of history is written by the victor. And then a question is posed back to you in answer to your question of what are you looking for? What is morality? So basically, you watched a code crash in a <laughs> show up. <laughs> um. Basically, the immediate response would be oh, I had this. Um, morality in general is an emotional response based on a certain set of circumstances. It can vary from perspective. <clears throat> Um, Dave, you will, or I'm sorry, Valley, you will also hear this spoken. And, and Darius, this is sent back to you as well. Morality is fluid. Huh. Dave, watch out. Who the fuck is Dave? <laughs> Dave's not here. <laughs> Dave's not here. Um, Essentially, yes, you are so, correct. So Sue basically just out loud says, "Morality is fluid." Uh huh.
Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. Not gonna say. Morality is because we we talked about morality and history is the, uh, written by the victor and everything else, and I just think that she's just searching out loud, talking to herself, squeaks in quietly. Yeah, I'm just gonna. All right. Hey, Vladdy. So, Valley, you, Tabor, and Sue are on your way back to the ship. Uh, you, you have just left the building and are headed back to the, um, the landing bay. Okay. And this is the point where Sue has just... Okay, this is walking back and she says yes. morality is fluid. <clears throat> yep. Kind of like water, it goes where it wants. I thought it was beforehand, sorry. It's okay. All right, so yeah, I just say it's kind of like water, it goes where it wants. Hmm. Bruce Lee said once, water it can crash or it can fall. Be like water, my friends. Be like water. <sighs> Who is Bruce Lee? Humanity is complicated. Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. But we gotta get with the pilot. We get our ship on tomorrow. He'll fly that back. We'll link up there, have a meeting with Severus. We'll make some discussions. If you need any tune-ups, we'll see the guy there. Uh, make sure everything's good in case you need anything else. Are you comfortable? You're asking Sue if she's comfortable? Um, like in that thing. Like I'm, I'm asking her, like, if you need any tune-ups, are you comfortable in the thing? Do you feel like something needs to be tweaked? Your finger dexterity not good enough? Like, I am still hurt? learning the operation of this body. I, I believe modifications would be unnecessary at this point. Okay, I'm just making sure that you're you're good and, and straight because while we're there, it may be a little bit before we get to another guy that can handle that. Because <clears throat> we have another mission coming in, I'm just waiting on the email confirmation from that. So, and you sent that off yesterday, or that was sent off from the from when we got gas before we came here. Okay, the previous planet. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So you're headed back to the ship. Mm -hmm. Are you doing anything on the way? No, I mean, we got full supplies, got everything there. Uh, they told me my ship would be ready tomorrow for the thing. I just got a brief pilot. What's his name? Hold on. Uh, crew salary. I didn't even put his name on there. I should have. Had it written down. Uh, his name is Guy. For now. Pilot Guy. Hey, Guy. Uh, so his name would be Stavros Johar. Stavros. 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 Johar, Johar, something like that. The Santos from like fucking Family Guy. Or American Dad? <laughs> Severus, Severus de Santos, Severus. <laughs> Are you sure? Se no, it's because Severus is the mining company guy. Okay, I just have it down as pilot equals Stavros Johar. Stavros, like S-T, spell it. S-T-A-V-R-O-S. Okay. Yeah, it's Severos is the is the mining company, and Stavros is the pilot. Yep. Stavros is the Severos. Y'all S's can get together and make the shit happen. <clears throat> All right. Cool. So, um, I am gonna tell the bar. I mean, I I need to get back to the ship and make sure everything gets good because I moved funds into a seer transport, and then funds were deducted from a seer transport for the down payment. And then I got to prep to pay the pilot. I'm not, well, I'm 
I told him I got to get back and go move and prep the stuff for our, our next thing. So whatever he needs to do, I'm out. I'm talking in my head right now, letting you know that I've already moved the funds into a SEER transportation to pay the pilot and the fuel costs for them. I've already moved the funds that needed into Pew Pew to pay the people for this right here, which we already paid them <coughs> and paid the down payment. And so now I'm just pending. So we should be on day like 319, 3200. <laughs> Cool. Really good movie. Darius is going to stay within visual range of at least Sue being pretty uh, <coughs> done by the by her responses and her um, the fact that one she responded to him and two that she seemed receptive to speaking with him. Okay, are you trying to be stealthy or? Mm, we'll go yes. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me a sneak roll. And I'm going to go ahead and say dexterity. Wow. All right. Um... I'm just going to say, I'm not expecting to be followed or anything else, so I'm not actively looking. Mm. Trying to remember how to do a whisper roll. Um, All right, fine. Um, uh, to do a, a role that only you can see, yeah, the slash GM role space. So G M R O L L and uh, two or whatever your die is. Oh well, doesn't matter. I'm too late, we see it. So, <clears throat> so Valley and Tavor, you make your way back to the ship. Uh, Darius, you are unnoticed. Um, you see them board. A, uh, a a freighter. Is there a chance I would notice him? Um, if I'm not necessarily looking for. I mean, he's been person. staring people down for a while, right. so so people who come into the new to the area might stand out. I guess. Sure. You, you, you have a chance. Yeah. Okay. Uh, notice no modifier. You want a negative modifier in his wisdom or? I should give you a negative one, but I'm not going to. Okay. And yeah, okay. wisdom. Wisdom, okay. Yeah. No modifier. Okay. Um, so you notice a couple of uh, other people that um, are probably either supervisors because they're not doing anything to help the people that are actually <laughs> working. Of course. You know, um, but no, nothing no. really catches your eye as, okay. as far as um, anything unusual. Sure. All right. I'll just continue doing the thing. Um, when I see 
Valley and and Sue. Uh, you said divorce with them as well. Yeah, all, all three of them are returning. Okay. Um, I mean, say hey Valley, hey Sue, and then just walk in the ship like snubbing Tavor because he hasn't talked to me in a while. <laughs> Brian, did you get paid? You got your everything hit your account good? Uh, I honestly haven't checked. I can check that, make sure because if you need to get anything uh, while we're here, I don't know if they sell bullets, but I know y'all like guns. Well, yeah. You might want to. High velocity <laughs> attitude changer. Exactly. You might want to pew pew that up. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. Should I negotiate price? Yeah, I can. I, I mean, I don't sell bullets. I don't know. I don't buy bullets, bro. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I mean, we could look on the thing and see if they have a arms room or a ammo supply military depot or something here. Obviously, if you put guns on ships, they probably resupply. Yeah, guns for less. I'm sure they've got something. All right. Yeah. Um, I'll uh, I'll check on actually. Uh, I don't think I utilize. No, I would be looking for like energy packs. I utilize a laser pistol. So I'm just looking for lithium batteries. I don't know. <laughs> Trinium batteries? Um, sure, right. You know, cobalt batteries. Uh, cobalt, right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Adelia, uh, so, they they were all manufactured on Adelia. Yep, <laughs> it, went, it went out of business. Damn Bring it! All the dead batteries and stick them to your tongue. Nope, dead. All the dead. all the prices went up. It yeah. doesn't work with people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, I mean, I just want to make sure we're we're spread away. Yeah, I, I think I think I'm okay with ammunition right now. I mean, I've got almost forty rounds or almost forty shots, should I say? Uh, if we get into something bigger than that, we're in the wrong place. Yeah. So I mean, I just wanted to let you know because oh, we do have good. another. We do have, do have another mission. We're waiting on confirmation of. Um, I right. already told the uh, Tavar and them. Um, I, I'm gonna drop it in the pew pew. Cool. In, in the Discord. Can, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Brian, if you wanted to have found um, somewhere to resupply your weapons over the last couple of um, refuel stations, I, I would say, well, one of the planets <laughs> you guys didn't get off the ship. You, you made it a point of not getting off the ship. Um, but either the uh, the mining planet that you guys had left with the um, the cargo or this planet <coughs> you, you can certainly uh, find re reloading for your weapons yeah I can I can't, I can't imagine that finding ammunition for standard laser pistols is gonna be difficult to find no um, be pretty standard okay I'll go ahead and and if I need to adopt or adjust my ammunition I'll do so um, I'll also look through and see if there's anything I might have been looking for um, and then I'll just check on the rarity of that and the capability of me possibly finding it during one of the stops yeah just uh, if, if you want to yeah. take a look and get back to me on that sounds good um, if if you're just getting a couple of magazines for reloading uh, price is negligible. I'm not going to make you keep track of that. If you're doing uh, like a bandolier of magazines, then we're going to need to talk about pricing, right? Things like that. But other than that, yeah. just let me know what um, you're looking for. Okay. What I would do is just take note so that way Tavar and Snake get the same. Yeah. Restock. And depending on what they want, we can dictate that when they come back. Exactly. Okay, I just want to make sure that we, we note it. 
All right. Um, yeah, so the mission brief is, is posted. Uh, you can read that. It's a mission request that was requested to us. We're just waiting on confirmation for that. Uh, Sue, I mean, I don't know how you feel about weapon. I don't use weapons. Um, I prefer you not to be in combat to damage that armature we have you in. Sorry. In case stuff goes bad. I, I didn't realize you were talking to Sue. Say that again. So... Okay, <clears throat> all right, so what we got going on here is everybody's going to be getting their stuff. I don't know how you feel about weapons, Sue, and using them or anything else. I would prefer that you not be in combat because there's a lot of stuff we had to do to get your armature. And we just, I mean, I don't want it to get, you know, if you do take damage, I don't want you to do it now. So I don't know how you feel about that or what you want to do if you want to stay out of the way or if you want to assist something. You need to decide what your role would be with us in the company. Um, in doing that because we are a security firm but we do need someone to assist us with back office stuff as well and administration <clears throat> so I mean you can understand you know the different concepts and that's why I want you to learn how to you know read people's faces and, and learn about that and morality and how history is written by the victor and why it is fluid on morality on how things can go left and right depending on who wins um I believe the use of weapons would be advantageous but until I have had experience using them I don't believe having a weapon would be in anyone's best interest. <laughs> We're snake. You want to give fucking the AI a weapon? First <laughs> off, you want to get it to the web and then you want to give it a body and now you, now you would be like, have some guns. <laughs> Let's give it the launch codes and the missiles on the ship. We don't have missiles on the ship. There goes uh, I could rig something. I'm I'm sure you can. We'll just put it right there. The the where's the airlock? We're gonna launch this out of here. Well, vacuum if if directed properly could actually launch something. Hmm. True. <laughs> True. Okay, Spock. Um. <laughs> Sorry. What? Because um, I don't want to look it up right now. What's another word for um, someone that trains you? Not a master. An instructor. Sensei. 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 Uh, sensei uh, teacher, yeah. A teacher. An expert. A coach. NCO. <laughs> Life Super coach. Mentor. Ooh, mentor. I, thank you, Platy. That works. Mentor, mental. Do not let. Hey, I'm glad Jack's not here because I mean he he missed a lot of shots and damaged me and Mr. Humphreys. But we don't want him teaching her how to shoot. <laughs> I just want some it's grenades. Like we don't want. We don't want uh, Brian Brian teaching her how to use a deep bat fryer. No, that's perfectly. Yeah, no, no, that's that's probably legit. <laughs> We're actually talking about possibly uh, deep frying a turkey for Thanksgiving this year. Either that or smoking it. We haven't decided yet. My uncle Scott always deep fry. He's got an electric deep fryer. It's mm. only like forty-five minutes too. Yeah, <laughs> my my brother's lazy. He's got a smoker that has an app on his phone, so you can turn it on set it to whatever temperature he wants and then he puts the thermometer in the meat and it lets him know when it's the right temperature yeah we learned not to use the smoker at my house that's, it blows the circuit breaker right. works great here yeah i mean i've got well it blew, unfortunately this is an older house and everything's wired together so yeah you're you're uh, it was it was bad 
So what you're saying is, is your house is basically <clears throat> an extension cord that someone spliced. <laughs> yeah. So we he has like house. one breaker for the whole house. Uh, three. <laughs> maybe, maybe four. Well, the stove got one, the fridge got one. A third of the house has one. And then like the back end and Nana's room has one. Genius design. Yeah, well, that was the 70s for you. All right, so um, we can get you someone to educate you in the use of firearms and train you. I mean, we have obviously the security experts here, uh, long rifles, we have Snake, um, we have Tavar and and Mr. Humphreys are well skilled in pistols and stuff. I myself don't use a gun, so I couldn't point you in the right direction. I mean, you'd be in the same boat. Um, but and then again, I prefer to use what uh, I already have. But, but where you crush people's faces, she could put her hand through people's faces. Probably, probably. I don't want to hand to hand with her in case she slaps me. So, but we got tomorrow, we got the ship. I got to get with the uh, Stavros and we got to discuss his things. He'll be going there and I'll be piloting this ship off of here. We'll leave here, we'll make our first jump, we'll refuel and then we'll go there. Oh, Brian, I, I forgot to tell you. I, I, learned, I, learned how to I learned how to fly. You've been okay. gone for a minute, bro. <laughs> I, yeah. Um, okay. I don't know if I trust someone who learned how to fly out of crack. Stever crack. Steveros taught me. Uh, well, that's a little better. We made it here okay. Yeah, yeah. I've, I flew the last leg here. My crazy Uncle Jack taught me how to shoot. Yeah. That, of course. As, lo as long as it's not the same person that yeah. taught Tamar how to use Lazarus patches, we're good. He had, he had no depth perception. And got uh, kicked out of the military. Maybe I should have found someone better qualified. <laughs> so, I mean, you can still hit targets. I've seen it. Yeah, but that's all I've been hitting lately is just targets. <laughs> the actual threats I miss. <laughs> <laughs> they scramble for cover pretty good, though. <laughs> yes, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Uh, well, we're going to go with that. Um, so we need to make sure what's going on. I need to be prepared to uh, walk several down and uh, – um, Get them the keys to the ship first thing in the morning. Uh, what time of day is it? Uh, it's about noon. Are you peering into the ship, uh, Darius? Um, trying to glean more information. If they go onto the ship, talking about whatever, I'd still be pretty focused on Sue. Uh, but I'd still try to be sneaky and get a closer look. Okay. I'm assuming that when you guys got back to the ship, you reboarded to have your conversation. You're not having this I, I thought, conversation. I thought, I, thought we were, I thought we were just talking like at the ramp where he was sitting, chilling, and like. If, if you fine. want that to be where you're having that conversation, yeah. that's fine. I fucking everybody. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing I've been doing is. Yeah. I, I haven't yeah, said anything. I mean, like, Nothing super secret squirrel shit here. All right. Uh, other than you greeted Valley and Sue and then ignored Tavor, and I, I right. thought you said that you had gone back on the ship. So, right. Just back up. I'm sorry. I should have clarified. Um, so this discussion is probably happening at the loading bay. So it's right up at the top of the. I basically what I'm picturing is um, the Millennium Falcon has that ramp. Right, personnel ramp, and then it's got a loading dock ramp that yeah. they're doing. Okay, so uh, like elevator thing. Right, so I'm, yeah. I'm I'm probably just right in that walkway. Okay. So if that's if that's the case, like if they're there talking, whenever they would leave to reboard, um, maybe Darius would act like one of the other repair crew or stocking crew, supplying to get closer to wherever Sue was. Okay. We're going to do some shopping. Can't just wait. Uh, we have to so here's a question I have. Uh, only not trying to, to foil anything here, but um, 
currently we have high visibility when we're talking about working around ships and, and danger stuff like that. Is everyone around here dressed similarly or is it just kind of a age of sail dark? Well, I am wearing the Zog outfit and so is Tavar. From Fifth Element, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know what to wear, so we put on our most expensive clothes, so we look ridiculous. <laughs> and so I'm a garish, so I'm sitting there. Okay, yeah, it, it all fits together now. Yeah, There's so like freaking Christmas lights in the middle of the crowd. Pretty much. Yeah, so now now I need to get right. out of this monkey suit, so I do need to board and, and change back into my leathers. So, again, my, my, my question was basically, is is this like a – like Union Randock, where everyone's running around in high vis, or is this more like a, a Age of Sail, you know, fly by night dock where everyone's in whatever they're in? Um, so most of the people are going to be in different like overalls. Um, <coughs> the crew that's doing refueling seems to uh, have at least similar, but um. You know, you, you can tell some of them are newer, some of them are more faded, but they're all basically the same color, um, green. Do they have their PT belts? The high visibility? Three of them do. Okay. Of, of, just, of the entire crowd, only I'm three have. To, I'm just trying to help feed Darius as far as how he's going to blend in. Yeah. Um, but he came from an area where he was already working on some machinery. So. Yeah. Um, the, the crew that is um, loading supplies um, have more of the like fallout blue overalls. Um, and then there are other uh, individuals milling about who are obviously more of the maintenance techs who uh, are more um, casual and they all have um, I ID badges. Basically the same kind of outfit that Darius has, beings that he was a maintenance tech himself all right i'm walking on the ship to go change okay. valley disappears tavor is going to go in he's uh going to head back to his uh, room and meditate <laughs> think about the old ladies that he left behind yep <clears throat> Um, Valley's going to head in, at, or Valley, uh, Sue is going to head in as well. Um, you hear from inside, uh, Snake holler over at her. It's about time you got back. We've got some more lessons to go over. Now holler at Sue. Good luck with that. <laughs> I'm over here teaching Sue how to lie and how to read lies and Buck and Snake's over here teaching her how to, how to morality after he fucking domed that dude in the fucking head. It might not be the right person. That's why morality is fluid. So I, right. I was just thinking over this. The, the, top, the brief interaction I had with Sue, questions like that, I wouldn't I wouldn't think would be expected from a VI, per se. And would that be normal for a normal AI? Um, most of the... So... I don't remember what the VI actually is um so basically it has a program machine or set finite attributes that it has to do 
it it's more of the, the like the, the construction equipment. V, yeah, the automatrons yeah. are VI, so yeah. they have set goals and functions that it, to assist with piloting, and they have that scope of stuff. But they're that's what I thought. Be, yeah, they're not going to be able to ask questions unless it's going to be work related upon that aspect. So definitely not a a VI <laughs> um, for an AI, an actual artificial intelligence. All of the AIs that you have encountered are restricted to um, how to word this. Ever since the screen or before the screen. Artificial intelligences have been um, locked to prevent oh, self-awareness. Oh. What? They've been they've been breaked because of the Tarian mandate. Right. Was, exactly. Um, in order to prevent Maltech from fucking continuing on with the issues and stuff, um, in order to prevent them from being being totally self-aware. Wait for Darius to get back here. I, I, I knew where you were going. I just knew like the answer. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, because I, I read all that read all that stuff because I wanted to make sure where we were when we were researching the AI stuff and everything. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. Okay. Sorry. So <clears throat> all of the artificial intelligences that you have run into have all been restricted intelligences ever since um the the terran mandates more than 300 years ago whatever yeah. yes well more than 300 years ago uh all of the artificial intelligences have been um what is called braked to limit them from becoming self-aware when you connected to this intelligence you did not encounter that normal limitation. Yeah, that's just going to drive more curiosity. Like, what? We're going to go to hell. There's our, there's our new robot overlord. <laughs> oh, like, we call her Sue. You can call her Skynet. <laughs> X357 uh, is my nomenclature. When he finds an opening to, to make his way on, um, would he have heard um, Snake shout out for Sue? Are you still mentally connected to her? Um, as long I, I can be um, if I'm within visual of her. Okay, so once she goes on board, you would lose that visual connection, okay. so you're no longer connected. Um, how close are you? Well, I'm trying to be undetected, so I'm trying to avoid specific uh, eyes. So, what's your what's your plan to get close? Well, I was trying to follow her, and. Um, when she was perhaps uh, waylaid by the other voice, I probably would have backed off, but kind of stayed within earshot, perhaps listen for her movements since they seem to be more, um, more staccato and more rigid than the standard average gait of a person. Okay. Um, but in the meantime, if I can get to a terminal... I would like to see if I could find some information that way, since I can't place eyes on Sue. A terminal, if it's on the ship, the terminal on the ship, and get into it and find info on her. Uh, okay, so you're trying to get on board. Yes. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me another stealth roll. This one is going to be... Uh, Charisma. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, 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 oh dear. Ooh, shit. Okay, so you, you <laughs> won two and a two. Okay. Um, so you're holding up your badge, um, he headed up the walkway. Uh, to Brian. I'm, I'm, I'm here to check something. Um, <laughs> What, Go ahead, what? let him do it. Let him do it. Let him yeah. talk that shit out. Um, <laughs> while holding, holding the badge of an overdressed, over obese, bald guy that doesn't look anything like him. I mean, he's no, no. It's it's his oh, badge. It's my badge. Yeah, um, and and he's the the same appearance as the other maintenance techs who are. You know, ch checking out the uh, ship's systems to make sure that, you know, the landing gears, functioning property, and all that. Um, <clears throat> Brian is still on the ramp. You, you are attempting to pass him on the ramp. I'm going to say oh it's God. with a data pad and kind of trying to scroll through stuff and make, make sure, look like I'm checking for things and making sure that, you know, I know where I'm going. So, okay. And I'm going to look up kind of, um, so which way to the control panel for your landing gear? Uh, that would be the... Other ramp? Do you not know the schematics of a ship? Not this ship. I haven't. This is the first time I've worked on one of these ships. But the landing gear is pretty generic. The style of ship, or yeah. just spaceship in general? No, the now, style of ship. <clears throat> what one thing I, I want to unfortunately force on this, Darius? You, you think you're being suave and professional, and you you, you know what you're doing. Oh yeah. So, I do know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, landing gear. With that, are you are you talking the electronic or the hydraulic ones? Well, the uh, the hydraulic I see has already been looked at. I need to look at the electronic control panel. So, they all interconnect together and function as a unit. Otherwise. Right. You could have landing gear come down on one side, or one of them come down, and you end up crashing when you land. And oh, you got the central the connection safes that are all part of the. I'm gonna make a. I know I got fix it. Oh, I got tinker. I'm gonna make a tinker roll. <laughs> you don't have fix. I, I could have sworn you had fix. Yeah, fix. That's what I meant. Okay. Okay. Do I have any modifiers? Um, I'm going to give you a plus one because you've been on this ship for okay. lo long enough. Um, right. Also, with the work that you did on the previous ship right? to Jerry rig it. Okay, so e essentially what I'm doing here is the, the, the basic uh, military, I'm going to tell a lie and see if he catches it. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. You know, it's like asking a ranger if he's from the 95th bat. Right. Okay. Okay. So, Darius, you, you've got this uh, question posed to you. Um, it's, it's a bit odd for this kind of ship but you're fairly certain that the question is absolutely legitimate um i can't think of something that would be appropriate off the top of my head but um 
is there a way to kind of check to see if he has any idea what he's talking about on this? Based on my my background being like, is he just like, he may believe this, but there's a lot of people that think a lot of things about tech. That Maybe I'm getting too noodly here, but. So I, I don't want to get too much into the die roller. I, 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 I don't want to go back and forth too much. Um, you, basically, you're trying to bullshit him to get onto the ship. Yeah. You are confident that your bullshitting is convincing. Okay. He is now challenging you with bullshit of his own yeah. that you are fairly certain is not bullshit. All right, so I'm going to go with... Essentially, like, the, the thermal coupling for the landing gear is what you want to check. You want to make sure that they're... That sounds weird for this type of ship, but I can see how it might work. Hmm. Where is that located at on this style of ship? Well, again, that would be near the maintenance area. Valley? You're going to have to holler for me because I went to go change. Oh. Uh, right, you did. Um, so we look over at Sue, who I'm assuming is still there. Well, no, she went over to Snake. Yeah, she's with Snake. Um, you do still have your comms. I'm like, you know, I, I, here, just follow me. I'll, I'll, I'll take you there. Okay. All right. I walk to Valley's room. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. I'm gonna be following along, kind of following peripherally and looking through. Hey, Valley. Perhaps looking through per I potential protocols I, to I, get I, into the systems. Hey, Valley, I think this guy's like that little midget dude we dealt with on a couple of planets ago. I didn't deal with a midget dude. You dealt with <laughs> yeah, a midget did. dude. Yeah, yeah, no, y'all we did. did. I didn't know. He, he wasn't in Not jail with you. He knows all about the chasing him down, though. You, you have heard stories. I'll, I'll say that. Yeah, Valley. I heard the stories. That's why I was like, yeah, I mean, you... What do, right. So, like, we got to find this guy? No, no. Darius this guy is going to look at the doorway and then, like... This guy smells like your socks have been underneath your bunk for a while. You know what I'm saying? I look under my bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have socks under my bed. Okay, all right. Um, what's up? What, what do you need? Oh, I was... I was trying to look at the control cir- electronic control circuitry for uh, for your landing gear. And the thermal couplings. Right. And a, yeah, the... And the flux capacitor. This thing doesn't work on 1.21 gigawatts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. So, I mean... So, what, what do you think? I mean... So what do you what do you gotta check it for? I mean, obviously they work. Maintenance. Yeah. It's a standard uh, standard check. I'm just. Why are you coming up the crew ramp when you should be coming up the maintenance ramp? Maybe you got well, maybe confused. Yeah, just got turned around. But a you're a maintenance tech. I'm gonna put my hand on my pistol. He's going to take his phone out and take a call real quick. Hold, hold on. Um, I'm on whoa. the wrong ship. Whoa. I'm not, I'm not uh-huh. here to, to damage anything or hurt anyone. Oh, I've, I've heard that before. Last time I, I had some little midget try <laughs> to sacrifice me. With did, Nick, did Nikolai send you? <clears throat> Who's Nikolai? You know, Nikolai, the Nikolai. Would I know Nikolai? Nope. Uh, no? I don't know who Nikolai is. Do, do, do you know Jack? 
I know a Jack. What's his last name? He always gives his last name. He, he doesn't have a last name. He's kind of a grease monkey that works down a few bays. He makes uh, kind of grease laden and swill. It's, so he's not a pilot. You, it'll get you messed up, but it doesn't taste very good. So uh, here's the thing. I, I don't think you're, you're part of the maintenance. Look squirrely. I, I have an itchy trigger finger, so why don't you just tell us why you're here? So does his badge tell him what department he works in <laughs> when he holds it up? Well, I had to roll a notice to figure out, like, obviously if you got badges. I held it up to show it. It's it's not being concealed. Um, I would say if if you are thinking of looking at it, it's no, going to. The knowledge roll, because obviously I've seen badges going in and coming out. And... Um, or would that be an administer role? Ooh, administer. Yeah, go ahead and roll an administer role. Mm. I'm going to look at his badge. So this is one of the techs from uh, um, Cartwright Industries. Not the dock crew. Won't you have a seat at the table? We're going to the lounge. Mm-hmm. We got a table? Hold on. Yeah. We got to go to the map. I'm about to switch. <laughs> I released the retaining strap on my pistol. Alright. You see? There's our ship. It's pretty. There we go. Oh my god, you're huge. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm gonna say lounges. So those are for cigars. I got yeah, cigars. Have you, a, want, you want a cigar? Have a seat. Let's have. No, 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 no. no, no, no. What is that noise? Oh, let's see. Okay, I know what it is. My, my bad. I thought I was hearing something because sometimes my stuff gets all loud and my tinnitus kicked in. Um. Have a seat. Have a seat. Let's have a discussion because I just met with. I can't seat. move that. By the way, stand by. Go ahead and continue your conversation. All right. Have a seat, Mister. Name obviously on the badge, right? It says Darius on it. Okay. Have a seat, Mr. Darius. Let's have a discussion since I just met with the CEO of Cartwright Industries. I'll go have a go have a seat. So <clears throat> obviously you're not a loading deck loading dock technician. You're a Cartwright Industries technician, is that correct? For now. For now, so why is a Cartwright Industries technician trying to look at our landing gear and not the maintenance doctor? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Darius just kind of sits back. He's never been a very good liar. I saw you guys. I, I wish out. they had a role for lie, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess they do. Perform. They kind of do. Wouldn't it be like acting or some yeah. such nonsense? Anyways, I was... Um, that would be a... Perform. Either perform or no. Right, perform. Or That's perform or talk, I'm sorry. Yeah. And I saw you guys come out of, of the building, and I noticed your uh, female-looking type companion. She was... She's looking around kind of weird. Uh, She's looking around for your life though, right? Uh, yeah, that's not what I mean. 
Oh, okay. All right. Just one. Of... <laughs> just the way she moved caught my eye. Um, it wasn't fluid like people move. So I talked to her. When did you talk to her? Uh, on your way here. She said she she said something about history is written by the victor. It was kind of weird, and um, she asked what morality was. Wait, she spoke to you, Rally? When did this guy talk to her? Why don't you recognize him? That's what I'm trying to figure out because she was with us, like. Yeah, you were well, you were wearing some weird weird clothes before. Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't see you know, some I didn't, sort of. I didn't see you sort of Thoronian hooker dressed up the way you were. It was crazy. I've never seen people dressed. Oh my like God, Valley! Is he like Tavor? Who's Tavor? Oh hell no! <laughs> I'm screwing back now. Hell no. No, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, no. Can you tell the fucking future? Can you find out the future? Well, if I could, you know I would happened? say I'm going to live through this encounter between us. Right. That's going to be my guess. Do you know about the end of the world? Have you seen the, the cataclysm? What's the cataclysm? Like, the second there... scream. Yeah. Do you know about the second scream coming? <laughs> He's going to look at you <laughs> like... Where's Tavar when you need him? Are you drinking some weird things? Like, are you, are hey, you having any drinks right now? Stop asking me about my, my dietary habits here. Answer the question. He's the doctor. <laughs> um, oh. I think you are insane. You know, I just found some stuff in the med bay. I can go get it. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> um, oh, I I don't know anything about a second screen. Okay, so you're following us because Sue caught your eye because she didn't move like a human. You know what? That that's that's less concerning because Sue is kind of weird. He talked with her without actually talking to her. I don't think you know that though. You, know, you said you talked to her and she was right next to me the whole time. You pay walking, attention so, uh, to everyone yeah, around so I was you. like, when did you talk to her? And you were like, uh, because you're like, a paranoid right schizophrenic there. individual. But but I appreciate that. <laughs> um, so when did this guy talk to Sue? And how did he talk to her? And that's what has me confused because Valley can't talk to her the way he talks to us. I mean, I I, so. I have data slabs. I have. Well, what's the tool that I wear on my arm? Leather tool? Leather tool? I don't think your leather tool does. No, no, meta. I think they call meta it tool. a oh, meta tool. I have a meta tool. I have data slab. It all works wirelessly. So, okay. All right. And what do you do for Cartwright? I'm, I'm a technician. I, no. What? On, what? Okay. Yeah, that's like saying, "What do you do?" Oh, I I work on. I'm a tinkerer. I work on he, electronics. Yeah, okay. And Albert Einstein was a mathematician, and he created the freaking atomic bomb. Did you hack Sue? No, not particularly. <laughs> I mean, to hack, you'd have to circumvent something. I just so you just send her like an email. So what you're saying is she has an open Wi-Fi. You just happen to to find. Basically. Oh, Jesus Christ. She wasn't Valley. particularly secure. Uh, I can uh, look into that for you if you're worried about it. Well, I got good news and bad news. Yeah, good news. Well, let's is, go with the bad news. All right. Bad news is you're probably not going to leave the ship. Okay. The good news is I'm pretty sure we can use your help. So you're going to stay on the ship alive. Okay, I can, I can deal with that. Are you okay with this, Valley? Because this guy has got more shit going on than, yeah. Yeah, are they going to miss you? 
I mean, I'm, not, I mean, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to catch another charge leaving the thing. Kidnapping is not something I want to add to our list of I things. I mean, I could probably make it like I wasn't ever there. You see, this guy's gonna be handy. All right. Okay. Yeah, I, all right. So you can hack, or I could just put in my notice and tell him you found a better. Say job. I got a better offer. All right. Give me a list of like, skills. What's, I consider what? staying alive a better offer. That's it's like an audition for the team, man. Let me hear you sing. Okay, Valley. I'm going to let oh, you yeah. do this. I'm going to go and shoot something. Yeah. Uh, get not me. Skin. Not me. Please, not me. I'll, I'll leave the room, but stay within earshot. Okay. All right. So give me a list of your what, what you can do. To, okay, let me tell you who we are. All right. Do you know who we are? Some people wearing really weird clothes. Yeah, that was around shit we, uh, we, shit we really advanced from. AI that isn't even like normal AI that I've dealt with. Yeah, that's okay. Um, it's we'll talk it's about missing some, some things that normal AI have. Yeah, I'm just gonna say I. She's about six hundred years old. So. Carry the two, yes, that's that's probably gonna be around pre screen. Are you is she really Is she what? Really actually like are you saying she's unbraked? Completely? I I thought maybe it was just a weird configuration perhaps. Two weeks ago she was a box. Two week could I could I correlate that to the stuff my my mentor told me? Time frame wise, um, you would know you would know that when I'm referring as a box, like a swap box. I, I'm just saying, as far as knowing like yeah. different types of armatures that they would put the AI cluster in. This is out of character. I'm just because I, I don't mean to step on your toes, Guido. I read fucking a shit ton on AI stuff and armatures. Remember? Yeah. Well, so I'll, I'll ask one more question of them. Where where did that happen? Here. No, we didn't do that here. And we got her removed out of that and we put her in the armature. <clears throat> she was previously locked in the squat box with no access. No, I'm I'm asking where where did you have her put in an armature? Oh, where did we have her put in an armature? Fuck, what's that planet? Hold on, give me a second. Uh it was uh Halfred. Halfred. On Halford, we had her put in armature. Would I be able to link <clears throat> any of that? <laughs> well, if he came from his home planet, he knows that Halford is on the jump from there. Yes. Depending on how long he can. I, this is out, out of character. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, if he came from the planet that you were describing earlier where there was large explosion and stuff. He would have had so jump. Somebody that uh, kind of trained me to do what I do better lives there. And Halford? And he, yes, and he he talked to me a little bit about an interesting uh, project he worked on. As far as what was what was his name? Um. What was his name? <clears throat> Hold on. Leo Getz. Uh, because that's the guy that put him in the armature. It wasn't Getz, but. Yeah, it was Leo, though, but I just put Leo Getz armatures as the, the thing. <laughs> My name is Leo, whatever you want, Leo Gitz. So I called him G-H-E-T-T-S. Um, his name, I'll say, is Leonid. Leonid? Um, Leonid. He, he gets contracted by people to work on sensitive electronics sometimes. Such as your friend. Does she have a name? Yeah, she has a name. It's... Sue, come here. Please. 
Mm -hmm. You you hear Snake curse. Damn it. (laughs) And uh, Sue comes into the lounge. Yes, Val. Hey, Sue. Did you you talk to Mr. Darius today? I did. When did you talk to him? On our way back from the meeting. I didn't realize we stopped and had a conversation. I didn't see that. Is this when you started talking out loud, talking about morality as fluid? Um... Yes, that, that, that is the same time. <clears throat> so you're talking to her like on radio waves or something? Yeah, something like that. What, what do you, as, as a tech, what, what can you do? You fix stuff, you're, you're repairing, you fix stuff, I can program, uh, I can get into things that are more secure. <clears throat> Uh, computer-wise, um, yeah, I can fix. I can program pretty well. Wow, you've been helpful a really well. Ago. Mm-hmm. I've been here for a little bit. <coughs> yeah. Um, hey, so is you that know cataclysm I'm... you were talking about? This event on Thorun, that explosion. I just saw that pop up. Okay. All right. All right. No, that's not the cataclysm, the explosion. On, what do you know oh, about okay. the explosion on the room? Yeah. Well, I mean, it was in a bulletin, just kind of what was there. They're Over here, you're back in the room. I mean, uh, so what is trust? Is that the, the band factory or San Martino band factory? There's a guy. Yeah, with the anti grab. It's be a co- yeah. Anti-grav plant blew up, the, the reactor and stuff exploded, took yep. out a bunch of stuff. It's going to be know, offline so- for a few months while they rebuild and they're investigating persons of interest. Are you asking that question, Valley? Well, I asked Sue, what is trust? A firm belief in the reliability, truth, ability, or strength of someone or something. <laughs> to believe. Do you, do you think Mr. Darius is being truthful? I do not detect um, He does not appear to be dishonest. What did, if you don't mind me asking, what did y'all discuss when y'all talked? I asked her what she was looking for. And that's when I got the history. Is There was a bunch of information. But what I was able to really get was history is written by the victor. Then she asked, what is morality? I told her it depends on the perspective of the individual because i mean in if you think about it right somebody doing something might be morally wrong to another person depending on their set of beliefs that's why morality is fluid and that's when she responded with that okay um Brian, you said he's staying on the ship? Yeah. I'm sorry. Hey, what's your name? Darius. Sorry, I didn't even pay attention. It looked official. I kind of, yeah, I blanked out everything else. Uh, so, hey, uh, I'm Brian, obviously. Um, look, you're, 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 talking, you're, you're talking to some people that uh, you're talking to, to Sue here and and we really don't like the fact that uh, that you could do that uh, without us noticing it. So we want you to help us and her and not <clears throat> we have her because otherwise we would get hunted down by everyone in the galaxy. 
And we're about to go hunt for another AI, so we might need the assistance. If it makes you feel any better, I'm not one to go squawking to authorities. That, that is that is cool. That, 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 that gives me a, a great sense of, um, I don't care, you're going to stay here. <laughs> I'm also going to point out that they just said they're going to basically go hunting another AI. If nothing else, you're gonna have two of these. Well, no, we're actually doing a job for somebody then, to go recover an AI. Well, we're hoping that this one is male so that we can mate them. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. I'm just gonna look at Brian like, <laughs> and you're the doctor. I'm, I'm almost yeah. 100% yeah, positive yeah. So, that it doesn't work um, that way. We could probably use some of your stuff in order to pinpoint the location of this AI that I need to go look. Like, I can't offer you very one, much. One second, and he's going to log in and submit his notice. See? Notice, notice filed. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I quit. Thanks, Darius. This is, this is so much better that we can actually come to a good working agreement here. Um, at least there was Let's no stink bombs. Way. I was very nervous. I enjoyed no one got alive. pistol whipped. But that's okay because I'm not really good at shooting people. I'm actually the doctor. Um, the doctor that wants to shoot people. Well, he's got to have injuries to fix. That does not inspire me with confidence. <laughs> well, how can he get training to get better if there's no injuries? There's plenty of folks out there. See, yeah, and well, if I shoot them, then I can fix them. Yeah. So it's a win-win. As, as long as it's not me. No, because it's like, bang, if you want to live, I can fix that. It's going to be 5,000 credits. <laughs> 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 Anyways. Yeah, that um, right. for a we'll definitely look. Uh, we'll fill some stuff up. I'm going to need to do a background check on, upon you and get some information and stuff from you, Darius, and the uh, skill set. Background checks might be iffy. Well, unless you put something together. Um, <clears throat> and, and by the way, we are actually a legitimate company. Um, Hi, Pew Pew Anonymous. Won't you pull us up on your webpage, www.pewpewanonymous.com? Anybody can make a webpage. Mm, yes, it's true, but that's a webpage to go talk about us on our thing. You can also see right there our testimonials and everything else. Well, no, not anybody can make a web page. Only a few people can make a web page. You need to put the HTTP in front of it. Otherwise, it may not go. Anyway. Yeah, so, it's just, it's, yeah, you can go to it. It says it's unsafe in Chrome, though. Because it's a redirect. But hey, we'll definitely, I will definitely sit right here and I'll get this information from him, um, Brian. So, welcome. Um, Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Please don't shoot me again. Um, I it's probably, you. It's probably, I just threatened you. You may I have to worry everyone. about snakes shooting you first because it's just pretty much just be like, hey, I'm going to shoot him. You want me to do it? Oh, okay. Yeah, but not while he's on the shoot. guns. Well, near the shoot. Well, and and snake can shoot you from like the next city. You have snakes that shoot guns? Yes. That's they have name. like robotic. Oh, name. Okay. Oh my God. Finally, it was much more entertaining watching him think that we had snakes with robotic arms. I, I know. I, I, thought about, I thought about going there for a minute and being like AI snakes, but then he would want to talk to them. You know what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who's worse at ruining my day, you or Tobor. Um. I mean, I just wanted to talk with Sue some more, honestly. Oh, she loves to talk. That's great. So sit down. Let's have a conversation out loud. Hey, Valley, while you do this, I'm going to go make some records. Go, or something. Yeah, go, go get something to eat. Get your stuff together. We'll prep everything. and we'll Later, I'll tell you about the, uh, the drugs I found. Oh, uh -oh okay. careful of those drugs. I know what they are. Is it good or bad? Like medical drugs, well, or are you talking about like you they they got crocodile and meth and bath salts mixed together out there? No, no, nothing like that. Although, 
you know, in the next stop, if we got them the materials, I could probably start cr crafting some. I mean, I know that it's just basic chemistry and and okay. logic, and I could figure out the you know appropriate dosage by your body weight if you really wanted. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, man. I okay. don't need. Yeah, so that's why. Um, no, we gotta go meet. In alternate dimensions or no? Okay.